This is the InterDigital LTE development platform, and what I'll be demonstrating for you today is the advantages of fuzzy cells over a standard cell topology that's currently in the LTE standards. And what we have here is we have two Roden-Schwartz signal generators. These signal generators are simulating the signals from two different cell sites. They're simulating the signal that's being received by the UE and also an interference signal. Each signal is then put through a fading model and we add AWGN to simulate somewhat realistic conditions for our demo. What we have here is the user equipment, the UE, that's an LTE development platform custom built by InterDigital to work on LTE technology. And what we have here is we have a user equipment that can receive two component carriers simultaneously. What we're demonstrating here is a simulated network where our user equipment is moving across several different cell sites and crossing two different cell edges. And we're showing a standard topology running and then we're going to show the fuzzy cell topology running. In the standard topology we have the same three cells at each cell site and each cell therefore er, transmits three component carriers, two of which are received by the UE at any given time. In the standard topology both beams have the exact same power and the exact same beam patterns and we will see the exact same throughput for each of the two carriers. That's what's shown in the current download throughput. We see each individual contribution from each one of the two component carriers and then we see the aggregate sum. We see as we just cross the cell boundaries here, we see a very large drop off in throughput. That standard throughput is graphed here in the red and we see a very, very large drop in this throughput as we cross those cell boundaries. For the fuzzy cells, what happens is that for each of the component carriers, we have a different cell pattern. And because of the different cell pattern, we're never at the cell edge for all those component carriers at the same time. And therefore, we're not running in the real inefficient part of the cells right at the cell edge as we were there. So what we can see is that we're receiving one component carrier from one cell site and one component carrier from the other cell site. And that stops the sharp drop off in throughput that we saw with a standard topology. And that's part of the reason why the fuzzy cells will run much more efficiently is because we're never at the cell edge, we don't see that large drop off in throughput, and we're making the system much more efficient by not increasing the power for the total system and by not adding any cell sites, yet by running more efficiently we're increasing the total throughput for the entire system.